Human barricade by the protesters disrupted activities as the entrance to the ministry was sealed by officials of a State Ministry of Education to prevent the protesters from gaining entrance into the premises. Spokesperson for the protesters, Comrade Sunday Edobo, said the protest was to register their displeasure with the state government over non-payment of six-month salary arrears and non-regularization of appointed staff of the institution. We demand the retirement age of the academic staff of the Polytechnic at 65 years, as is obtained all over the Federation. Some of our colleagues have been asked to go at 60, which we are not accepting. Our salary has been in arrears. We got our October salary just last week. Just last week. Last week, Friday. October salary. Why people are waiting for the April salary, we don't even know when the November salary will come. The protesters were addressed by a permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education, Mr. Musa Ikogode, who assured them that issues raised will be channeled to the Commissioner for Education, Mr. Gideon Owakan. We have a governing council. Some of these things should be addressed internally. I have now picked up your, your, position, your, paper. your position, position paper. paper that I will present to my commissioner and I'm sure he's going to take immediate action with a view to addressing the issues we have raised. There was heavy security presence at the premises of the education ministry during the protest with policemen on the ground to ensure that it did not degenerate. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.